everyone today we will be considering the problem in which we have nfa we need to convert it into dfa then a minimized dfa and finally to regular expression so consider the nfa given below it has one final state and one start state the first step which needs to be followed whenever we come across nfa is that we should draw the transition table corresponding to the nfa once we draw the uh, transition table we identify the states which have more than one input so we have two states in this case one is 1 2 and another is 1 3 so we will put both these states that is 1 2 and 1 3 as two rows of the transition table we will find the entries corresponding to 1 2 on a 1 2 on a gives us 1 3 1 2 on b gives us 3 then we check 1 3 1 3 on a gives us 1 3 itself and 1 3 on b gives us 3 so we don't have any new state now so that means we are ready with the dfa so we will draw the dfa corresponding to the entries in the transition table we have the dfa generated next step is that we need to check whether there is any redundant state if yes remove it in this case it is pretty evident that one is redundant as well as two is redundant so we will remove both the states and ultimately the final dfa which we get is given here this is the first step that is we have converted the nfa to dfa second step is to minimize this dfa in order to minimize this dfa we are just renaming the states as a b c d now we will divide this set of states into two subsets set of final and non-final states so in this case ac and bd are two sets ac belongs to the set of non-final states and bd belong to the set of final states now we will check ac on input a on state a it moves to c that is within this state but on state c it moves to set of final states so we will split these two states into two so we have three states now a c and bd we just need to check whether bd can be minimized into a single state so we will check bd on input a when we check bd on a it goes on bd itself and when we check bd on b it goes on b itself which is part of this set only so that means we can comfortably merge states b and d as a single state so this is our minimized dfa now we need to find the regular expression corresponding to the given dfa the regular expression will be b star a a or b a or b whole star so this is how we have generated the regular expression corresponding to the nfa the steps followed were first we designed the dfa then we minimized the dfa and then we generated the regular expression here comes the second question in this we have six states and two final states d and f the nfa is given so again we will follow the same steps first step is to draw the transition table corresponding to the given nfa second step is to identify the states which have more than one states for sigma equal to ab in this case we have three states bd ed and df so we will add these three states in the entry for the transition table and then we will check bd on a bd on a gives us bdf which is a new state so didn't exist earlier in the transition table bd on b gives us def again a new state then de on a gives us f which already exists and pe on b gives us df df already exists we will put the entries corresponding to df df on a f df on b df we have already exists so we have two new states bdf and def we will add these two states in the transition table and then we will try to find on input a and b bdf on a gives us bdf itself bdf on b gives us def def on a gives us f only and def on b gives us df now we don't have any new state so we will draw the dfa corresponding to the transition table so this is the dfa which is here given here on the left side after drawing the dfa we just need to check whether there is any redundant state 
yes we can easily identify d is redundant since there is no in move on d there is only there are only two out moves corresponding to state d now we will remove this state d and this is the final dfa which we obtain from the given nfa next step is minimization before minimizing it in order to remove any confusion we will rename these states as g h i j and k now f was final state and b was final state so all these states which have f or b will also be final state so in this case we have six final states and one start state capital a now we move to minimization step can we divide the entire states into sub into two subsets that is set of final and non final here a c e h belong to the set of non final states and b f g i j k belong to the set of final states now we will check whether a c e h can be merged together as a single state we identify that on input a c goes to h whereas all other go to set of final states so we will divide this a c e h set into two parts c will be separated now we will check a e h on a a e h on a gives us b f which is part of final state so no split then we check a e h on b when we check a e h on b a goes to c whereas e and h go to set of final states so we will split a from a e h and now we will have four states a a c e h and set of final state now we will check e h on a both go to state f that is set of final states and e h on b goes to f i that is again part of set of final states so e and h set can be merged together there is no splitting required now we check b f g i j k on a we find that all of them go to same set only but if we check them on b we find that b set goes to capital e whereas all others go to same set so we will divide this set into two parts b will be separated and f g i j k will be considered as a single set now we will check on f j i j k we identify that all go on same set on a as well as on b that all these states f j i j k can be merged together as a single final state now we will name e h as m and f j i j k as n state and this is the final output in the final output we have two final states one is b and another is n here n is a representative state of all the five final states and this is the dfa which we get once we get the minimized dfa now we need to find out the regular expression corresponding to this b is the final state single a is accepted further if i have a after that another a into a or b star is accepted then we can move from a to c so we start with b so we have another set b a a or b into a or b star and the third set which we can have is a b into a or b into a or b star this thing can also be represented in a minimized format because since a or b star is common in all three we have put that over here and a or b is common in two places so we have put final expression as a or a a or a b or b a into a or b and this complete into a or b whole star so this is the final output which we generate that is the regular expression for the given nfa again the same steps were followed first we converted the nfa into dfa then we minimized the dfa and then we generated the regular expression thanks for watching